old was Jesus the last time we saw him? Yeah. A baby, zero. Baby. Well, now he's a man. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Jesus did a lot of loving when he lived on earth, and he was very loving, just like his father. He did everything his father wanted him to do, and he obeyed all the time. In fact, he was the only person who never, 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 never disobeyed, ever. Because we've all disobeyed sometime, no. right, kids? No. Yep. No. I just want to know. Even your teachers have disobeyed at one time. Does he have a car? Why did Adam and Eve disobey before they even tried the fruit? Ah, uh, we will have to talk about that afterwards. Would you please remember God that question? Well, everyone disobeys sometimes, and Jesus loved people, though, like his God, like Father God wanted him to. He loved them by teaching them about God. He told them that God was a very loving Father, and that all he really, really wanted was to get his kids back, even the bad ones, even the ones that want to do the wrong thing. He taught them this by telling them a story. Once upon a time, Jesus said, there was a bad child. He asked his dad for money, and his dad gave him the money, and then he took the money and ran away. Then the bad child was hungry because he had no more money, so he decided to go back to his dad. But he was afraid that his dad would be mad. But instead, his dad ran up to him, scooped him up, and hugged him because he was so glad to get his son back. Kids, what do you think of that story? Is that a good story? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Is Jesus a good teacher? No. Yes, yeah. he's a great teacher. And Father God saw what Jesus did and said, That's my boy! <laughs> I think that deserves a song. Good, good, very, very good. Good, good, very, very good. Jesus, Jesus and Jesus was very good. He taught many, many people and they all loved his teachings. Oh, but not everyone loved his teachings. The Pharisees, they would come, they would criticize Jesus' teachings and stories and they said, Jesus, you are teaching wrong things. Is that right, kids? No. no! But Jesus kept on teaching the people anyway because that was what his father wanted him to do. <laughs> hey, Jesus, you're a good teacher. Yay! And Jesus also loved the people by healing them. He healed all kinds of diseases. Like if people had things wrong with their legs and they couldn't walk, he healed them. If they had things wrong with their arms and couldn't move, then he would heal them. Eyes that couldn't see and ears that couldn't hear. Many times he just spoke a word and the people were healed. Just like his father, when he spoke a word, things happened. Right, kids? Right. Yeah. So Jesus did the same thing. Speak a word and bam, they're healed. He also healed people of problems in their heart. People with bad thoughts caused by the snake. People with bad feelings caused by the snake. He helped people who wanted to do wrong things. He healed their hearts so that they wanted to do good things. Wow, Jesus, you're a great healer. What do you think of that, kids? Yay, Jesus! And Father God saw what Jesus was doing, and he said, That's my boy! <laughs> and that deserves it. Good, good, very, very good. Good, good, very, very good. Great job healing people, Jesus. What did everybody like the way Jesus healed? Jesus, where are you? Yes, Jesus, why didn't everybody like you? 
healing people, that's a good thing. The Pharisees would come back again and they would criticize Jesus. They said, Jesus, you are doing wrong things. You healed people on God's special day of rest. You healed people on the seventh day. You're doing bad things. Is that true, kids? No! no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to take a photo of Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Face him in the face, I guess. He could. No, maybe I'm not going to talk about it. Oh, ho, ho, hold on. Would that be the right thing? Would, would Father God tell him to jump on the heads of the bad guys? No. He wouldn't? Oh, I wonder why. Hmm. Maybe but, Father God has another way to deal with the unfairness. Okay. So, um, the Pharisees would criticize Jesus and say he was doing wrong things. Jesus did heal on the seventh day, but it wasn't wrong. Because it's not wrong to help people on any day. So, Jesus kept on healing people anyway. Because that was what his father wanted him to do. He ran away! Jesus also loved people by doing miracles. One time, he only had a little bit of food. A little couple fish, a few pieces of bread. And then um, he turned it into a whole lot of food so that many, many people who were very, very hungry could Where's get Jesus? something to eat. And another Jesus? time, uh, he walked Jesus? on water. Let he Jesus wanted to help his friends <laughs> who were caught in a storm in a boat on the water. Father God saw what Jesus did and said, that's my boy! Good, good, very, very good. Good, good, very, very good. But the Pharisees were jealous of Jesus. Everyone loved Jesus more than them. And they didn't like it. They thought that they should get all the attention. The snake. Kids, that sounds like the snake was talking to them. Is that a right way for them to feel? Uh -uh. No. No. no! Now the Pharisees ruled the temple. That's God's house. God wanted his house to be a place where everyone could be together, to love God, to talk to God, and be with him. He doesn't like the but the Pharisees didn't really love God. They didn't want to be with him, and they didn't want to talk with him. Instead, guess what? They loved something else. They love money. And they love money more than God. Is that a good thing? No, it is not. So the Pharisees let a bunch of people set up businesses in the temple to make lots and lots of money. The Pharisees said, you can have a business here if you pay us some money, because that's what they love. That's not what God's house is for, is it, kids? No, that is not. No! When Jesus went to the temple and saw that, he did not like it. It made him angry. It made him angry to see that they were using God's house to make money for themselves. Jesus was so angry that he trashed their businesses, the animals they were selling. He let them loose, the cows. He took a whip and said, go on, get. They were running all over the place. And he pushed the tables over and dumped all the money on the ground. And he told the people selling birds, get these things out of here. He yelled, my father's house is supposed to be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Kids, do you think the Pharisees liked that? No! no. The Pharisees didn't like it, so they tried to stop him by saying, Who told you that you could do these things? 
were the rulers around here? Who told you that you should do these things, Jesus? But Jesus didn't answer the question. Instead, he asked them a question. You tell me who told the prophet of God that he could preach or teach or baptize. You know, John the Baptist, who told him what to do. Kids, who told John the Baptist God. that he should preach, teach, or baptize? Jesus. Father God, yeah, God in heaven said he should do those things. Yeah, and that's who told Jesus what to do too. Father God, <coughs> good job, Jesus. The Pharisees, yay! yay. 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 The Pharisees did not want to answer Jesus' question because they didn't want to admit that Jesus did what God wanted. But they were still very angry with Jesus. The only way to stop Jesus was to kill him. So they made a plan to kill him. Was that a good thing to do? No. 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 Song. Good improvising, kids. I love it. Okay. Now, um, the next thing that happened was soon after that, at night, Jesus went to a garden. It was a place where he and his friends would sleep at night. You ever sleep outside? Yeah. 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 Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, only Jesus wasn't sleeping that night. He was talking to his father. Father God said, our plan is working well. Jesus said, I don't want to do the plan anymore. The next step is too hard. Isn't there another way? But Father God didn't change his mind. He wanted to work the plan because he wanted to get the world back from the snake. Instead, he sent angels to make Jesus' heart strong. Then, the Pharisees sent soldiers to sneak up on Jesus. Huh, but was Jesus surprised? No. Not one bit, because his father told him what would happen. But the soldiers arrested Jesus and took him away. So, they took him to be questioned by lots of Pharisees and rulers. And they decided that Jesus was guilty of being bad. Is that true? Mm -mm. No. He was wrong for saying that God was his father. Even though it was true, even though it was true that God was his father. And for this, they decided that he must die. Bad, bad, very, very bad. Bad, bad, very, very bad. And the soldiers beat him up so that his blood came out all over his body, all over his back, all over his head, all over his arms, and all over his legs. And then they gave Jesus a heavy cross and he walked <laughs> on and on. His body was hurting from being beat up and every step hurt. Why was everyone being so unfair? He had only obeyed God. They were the ones doing the wrong things. He only came to love people. Oh, poor Jesus. How could they do such bad things to you when you only did good things? Was that fair, kids? No. No. Jesus.
Jesus was the only person who never did evil. He only did good. He's the only one born of Adam and Eve who had never disobeyed God. And now they're doing all these wrong things to him. Finally, he got to a hill. And they nailed his body to that cross he was carrying. They put the nails into his skin, into his hands, and into his feet. And then they put him up in the air, up for everyone to see. And the Pharisees and the people were yelling at him. And they were laughing at him and making fun of him. And it was the most terrible he felt in all of his life. And the Pharisees said, we win. And the snake said, I win. And then, kids, do you think this is a good thing? What happened? Bad, very, very bad. Bad, very, very bad. But when all these unfair things were happening, what do you think Jesus said? Jesus said, Father God, forgive them. They don't, they know, what don't know what they're doing. That's right. Father God saw what they were doing to his son. Father God said, Jesus? Jesus says, yes, Father. Ow, these nails hurt. <laughs> Father God said, I love you, Jesus. Jesus said, I love you, Father. Okay. Father God says, thank you for taking the next step. Jesus says, you're welcome, Father. Ah, I can hardly breathe. Father God said, your blood has the power to get the world back from the snake. Now everyone can be forgiven. Forgiven for hating and for killing, for disobeying and for taking other people's things. Everyone can be forgiven if they just ask me. I will forgive them for everything that they do wrong. Me too. Jesus said, Yes, Father. Ow! <laughs> Father, I am actually very happy about this. We will save many, many people from the snake. Father God said, Yes, Jesus. Now everyone who believes in you will be free. Your death on this cross makes them clean, completely clean in their minds and clean in their hearts because you died on this cross. Jesus said, now, now you can have one big family again, Father. Now we can have, have ow, fun together. <sighs> and we can, can laugh. Like, yeah, I can hardly breathe. And we can play ow, because we love each other so much. Father God said, now the snake is defeated. And then Jesus yelled with a loud voice, it is finished. And he died. Oh my goodness. Is there more? Oh, yeah.